Hey guys, Cedar Essentials here. Today's video is a trash to treasure DIY. This is a bench that I picked up from the thrift store and I picked it up because it looked like someone threw it away after buying it. Not sure, but I picked this up because it looked really ugly. So I challenged myself to see how I can change the look of this bench into something much more pleasing to the eyes. The first thing I did was to get rid of the ugly rag that was on top. I cleaned the bench and then used a wood at the back to measure how high I would like the back to be and the pattern that's also going to be there. So I took a charger plate to make designs with it. I cut out the shape with my saw and this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to be attaching it to the chair. After that was done, I attached two inches foam to it. I left a little bit of space at the bottom for the seating. Now I'm going to go ahead and make points on the foam for my tufting. After that, I'm going to make holes on those points. I covered this with batting before then covering it with vinyl. I got white vinyl and I chose this particular fabric because I intend to give this chair out when I'm done to a friend. So it has to be user friendly. <laughs> So all I'm doing now is locating where the points are and using a heavy duty staple gun to staple it down. I worked on the top to see if the design was okay before I then continued at the bottom. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now I'm going to draw a pattern for the arms on a canvas panel. Now that I have the size that I want, I'm going to first start by covering the sides with wood. The wood is flexible and it made a curve, which is perfect for my design. I need the arms puffed up, so I added a couple of layers of 2 inches foam. I'm done with this part, now it's time to add the pattern that I made. I reduced the size and covered it with the fabric and attached it to the cheer. I'll be using wood to cover the bottom part of the cheer. I have a bit of opening here but that will be covered much later. It was hard changing the legs, so all I did was just to spray paint them silver. And they look pretty okay. I thought what I have here in the front was too low, so I looked at the couch in my living room and it's the same thing. So I continued. Now I'm going to be attaching fabric to the wood that's at the back before then putting in the foam. This way the foam is going to stay in place and it's going to take the shape that I want. Now that I have this here, all I'm going to do is take the excess foam down and attach it to the wood. Now 
I'm gonna cover this up with batting and with vinyl. I'll be using decorative onlays for the top. This middle part here is going to be covered with this wooden onlay that I got that was kind of long but I cut off both sides and spray painted it silver. I got it from Lowe's. I'm attaching this with screws. These are other onlays that I got from Lowe's as well. Spray painted them silver and I'm going to be attaching them to the curves by the sides. I'm definitely going to be adding more to the top of this chair but before that I'm going to be adding this PVC trim to it and I'll leave a link for this down in the description box below. I spray painted it silver and attached it to the top. I'm also going to use it to decorate the arms of the chair. I'll use a hot glue gun and a heavy duty glue just to make sure that what I put here stays in place. This is another trim that I'm going to be using that I spray painted silver and I'm going to use it to cover up the space that I have by the side. I'm also going to use it at the bottom just so that this particular pattern does not look so lonely on its own at the side. I'm also going to be using tack nails on the trims. When I was done with that, I covered up the staple pins with crystal buttons. I made a design for this bottom part here with plastic that I covered with mirror reflective paper. This is what it looks like after I attached it. Now I'm going to be adding this cutout trim that I had that broke off from a different design. Spray painted silver and attach it there. I later added more onlays. This is another trim that I'm going to be adding to my design that's going to be at the arm of the chair with other little pieces to make a design with it. I added more embellishments at the top. Overall, I love the way the chair now looks compared to what it used to look like before. The pattern on the arms may look a little bit too much, but I was trying to go for a throne chair kind of feel that has a lot going on on the arms. So that's why it looks that way. But I mean, if you want to replicate this particular design on a chair that you want to revamp, you can do it without all the embellishments on the arms. This is a two seat sofa that was made out of an ugly bench. Now, nobody would ever see this now and believe that it came out of that. <laughs> the bench was really ugly, guys. But I really love the way it looks now. I am so in love with this double sitting sofa. Now, I do hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.